This is Mr. Doublecheck. He was created in 1982 by John Seward Johnson of the Johnson & Johnsons. He was loaned to Merrill Lynch to be displayed in Liberty Plaza Park, where he checked and double-checked his briefcase for something for nearly two decades. And then 9-11 happened. And as the debris of papers and cremated remains of office buildings and people rained down upon Lower Manhattan and anyone who could ran, Mr. Doublecheck remained. In the weeks that followed, he became a symbol of those who died in the attack, and people laid candles, flowers, and notes by his feet. In 2006, Liberty Plaza Park was renamed Zuccotti Park, and Mr. Doublecheck continued to serve as a reminder of 9-11. Five years later, in 2011, the Occupy Wall Street protesters moved in, and they used Mr. Doublecheck to make an anti-capitalist statement stuffing trash in his briefcase and tying a mask around his face. And now, in 2014, the Occupy Wall Street protest is nowhere to be seen in the park. Terrorists came and knocked down buildings and tried to obliterate the imperialist greed of Wall Street, but our bankers are back to their normal tricks. Protesters moved in and built camps and tried to shine a light on the unholy union of money and politics, but our politicians are back to their normal tricks. The terrorists and the protesters all came and went, but Mr. Doublecheck remains. As the world went crazy around him for over three decades, Mr. Doublecheck has been frantically double-checking his briefcase for something. For what? Maybe it's the same thing the terrorists and the protesters were looking for, too. Maybe he's looking for the reason for how we got to this fucked up, greedy, materialistic place in our society. Maybe it's time we all started looking someplace else for answers, including you, Mr. Doublecheck. Including you.